For the first time, two former NRL players have been diagnosed with the debilitating brain disease, CTE. The list of former rugby league players diagnosed with probable CTE is growing. Experts believe a crippling brain disease could have contributed to his suicide. The modern state of the NRL raises an eyebrow when it comes to its professed commitment to player safety. While the league vocally prioritises the prevention of long-term brain injuries like chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, among its athletes, recent events like the Battle on the Reef have exposed a glaring hypocrisy. This exhibition boxing match, featuring several NRL big names, showcased players literally bashing each other's brains to a pulp, seemingly contradicting the NRL's purported concern for player well-being. Many experts and fans on social media called out this hypocrisy while voicing their concern for the safety of these players. As long as such mixed messages persist, questions about the league's true commitment to player safety will continue to linger. Should NRL players be allowed to take part in such events? Let me know what you think in the comments.